Hello everybody, I'm Immortal Jellyfish and today we're going to do a full rundown and a full complete guide on how to get started in this new donation styled Roblox game known as Please Buy Me. So to get started, we obviously need to talk about joining the game. So how are you going to get this game in the first place? Well, first off, we need to get on Roblox. So let's get on Roblox. Okay, here we are. I'm on computer. You could be on mobile. You can play this on any game mode. There is a part of this that will require to either use the web browser or get on a PC at some point because you will have to create a game pass and we'll get into more details about that. So just know you will have to do that. You can't always just stay on the Roblox app because you will need to use the create menu. And yeah, that doesn't quite work fully with the phone app and stuff from what I understand. So anyways, you get to the game, please buy me. You can either look this up as please buy me. I'll put a link to this in the description. And uh, yeah, basically you want to find the game Please Buy Me by Monte Cristo. That's the that's what the game we're going to be looking at today. So once you are in this game, easy said, easy done, you'll come in and you'll be greeted in an area much like this. You, you probably won't have none of these cards on your display. Just ignore those for now. Now, this game does have a built in tutorial system. And if you ever need to reaccess that tutorial system, there's two ways to do that. You can find this question mark here in the top right and you can click it and it'll bring up the tutorial or you can make yourself your way over here by the leaderboard and you can find this gentleman who runs the tutorial booth and you can also open the tutorial here if for some reason this gets out gets bugged just reload reload the game just leave and rejoin because it happened to me before and it fixes it so don't worry about too much these tutorials are going to give you a good generic guide over the game the introduction is going to tell you about that this is your stand in this game the whole point of it is to make cards like a trading card game almost uh these are my cards you can see that i can sell them uh you can buy other people's cards and resell them so it's kind of like a starving artist kind of thing if you're familiar with that game uh except now we get to customize and build like trading card games of ourselves um the tutorial will then tell you that this is your display case where you can display cards this is your stand where you can sell one and this is like your i don't know what to call it it's your it's your bigger display let's see what oh no that's not what i wanted to do um that is going to be your showcase so it's like where you can put a really big card like if you have something that's really cool you want to show it to the world you can put it there anyways so the game's going to break all that down to you tell you all that simple enough right you, we get the idea the card info is going to break down telling you about more of the card info like this is the total value of all of my cards sold i've only ever made 25 robux out of my cards and then it's going to tell you the number of the card this is one out of 50 uh and then over here in this part like on the, also on the bottom will tell you whether they're a known YouTuber in the community or if they're a developer, so on and so forth. And that'll be put in the bottom corner as well. You can also customize these so your card doesn't have to stay the same. You can go in here into the card menu. You can definitely customize these and get different looks, different cases that hold your card. You can get different designs all the way down to some like really fancy, expensive, like animated styled cards, which look pretty cool but either way yes that's that's the card that's car basic card info knowledge right the next thing is sell a card and this is the part that i really want to make sure i put the most detail on and really focus in on here because i feel like this is the easiest part to get caught up and messed up in so what we need to do next is create a game pass so when you try to sell a card like so and we put it in our booth it's going to want to price it right and it must be over five robux don't make any game passes under five robux when doing this so we need to do this but the only way to do this is to make game passes now if you don't have any game passes you're not going to see any prices here you can refresh them once you've made one and it should load them in you can see that i have a 25 robux game pass 100 robux game pass and a thousand one so if you need to make one of these that's what we're going to do next to do this we no longer need to be in the game we're going to go back to the web page and this is the part where i said i don't sh quite sure if phone people can follow along unless they go back to the website or they hop on a computer for the time being. So what we're going to need to do is we need to go into the create menu. We need to be under ourselves. So don't be under any groups you own. You want to be under yourself. You're going to go to creations. You're going to create an experience like this. I made this and it says, look, I had to make a game pass for a card game. So you just want to create an experience. They'll probably launch studio or some sort for you. We'll go ahead and let that go through. Um, it might have to download studio if you don't have studio installed once you're here You can just choose any of these. I always just choose like classic base plate. We'll create this the, the, the. We're gonna go publish to Roblox title it whatever YouTube guide all right 
We'll create this. We don't need to worry about anything else there. Where it's loading it. Take a little bit of time, I think. All right. That should be published to our Roblox. So we can go ahead and close out of this. We're going to go ahead and refresh our dashboard page. And you can see that we now have a game. The next steps from here. So we want to go here. We want to hit these three dots. I'm pretty sure the game has to be public to sell game passes. I could be wrong. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. But uh, without that said, just go ahead and make your game public. Then you want to click on the game. Don't click the pencil. Don't click the dots. Just click on the game itself. And that should take you to this page where you'll now see this. You're going to want to go down to associated items. You're going to go to passes. You want to create a pass. You can put a picture in here of whatever you'd like uh, and you give it a name like I don't know. Let's just say YouTube guide. Uh, the description is it does nothing. <laughs> does nothing. And then we will create this pass. Okay. So I've created a pass. Now I need to go back into this pass. So we're going to click the pass itself, not the three dots. Click the pass itself. And we want to go over to sales. We're going to go to sales, put the item for sale, and then we're going to sell it. And we're just going to put this at 69 Robux because funny number. And we're going to hit save changes. Now that we've done a game pass, if we want more different prices to play with, we can obviously just keep making more game passes. We go back to associate items and make more passes, but we're not going to do that. We got what we wanted. We got our game. We got our YouTube pass tied to it. Now we're going to go back to the game. So let's go back in the game. Whether you have to leave or just tab out like I did, we can now go back in, add our card, and then we want to go to the booth or whatever. We want to refresh if we didn't leave the game. If you did leave the game, it should show up. And then you're just going to refresh this. And then you can see it's loading. And as you can see here now, we have that YouTube guide game pass for 69 Robux. We'll go ahead and select that. We're going to accept. Boom. 69 Robux. You can see it here on the stand. And now somebody can officially come by and buy this card. So that is how we start selling. But now we're going to focus into something that maybe is not quite so important. So like we've gotten through the whole core of how to get started. Now, this is going to be for my real dedicated people who want to understand more about the game and understand a bit more of things. So we've already learned how to join the game. We've learned how to make cards. We've learned how cards work for the most part. Now we want to learn a few tips and tricks. Now, obviously, I'm no big earner in this game. I've only made 50 Robux right now, so bear with me. But all right, here's what you got to do. You got to get other people's cards personally, even for me, who's like a small YouTuber is pretty inactive for the most part. My cards don't sell that high. Now, maybe there'll be something here in the chat. You see these ones here like this one. This card was purchased for a thousand Robux or just right now. What's going on right now? This one was purchased for two thousand Robux. So and this is going to come down to the fact that there's YouTuber cards and other things. Does this guy have a good example? This may not I, oh, see. OK, here we go. Look, this is a good example. See how this little badge down here in the corner? This is a verified Roblox account, whether it be verified with Roblox for what knows what reason. But we can also see that this person's cards has made three hundred and one thousand Robux from sales from his card selling. There's been a total of three hundred one thousand Robux made. And this is copy one oh one out of one fifty. And they're trying to sell for twenty one Robux cards like this is what's probably going to resell to make you more money. Uh, we can even look here. We got some other fancy ones. Um, yeah, they got different cool borders and whatnot on, but nothing that we're really looking for per se, but you could try and find some like really cool cards with a lot of fame value ones that are verified or YouTubers or stuff like that. That kind of stuff is going to make the cards value go up and be worth more than if you just try to sell your own cards as a nobody. So to be fair, the game might have some incentive to like make you want to go out and buy some other stuff and go get other people's cards. But I mean, that's that's kind of the fun of it, though, in the sense is that it's kind of like a trading card game. You kind of want to go around and like collect, per se, collect different cards, maybe collect your own. Um, the other thing to do is to customize, to customize any of your stuff, whether it be your booth, your card, any of this. This is all going to cost you these fame bucks or whatever they're called. I think they're called fame bucks. Um, you're going to have to collect those. So the easiest way to collect those is going to be your daily logins. You can get free fame coins. That's what they're called, fame coins. Uh, you can get free logins every day. 
you can do quests so if you earn more fame by people buying your stuff you can claim free fame coins if you get your friends in the game you get fame coins if you sell cards you can get fame coins if you buy cards you can get fame coins if you get new card skins if you buy back your own card if you get a card of the developers you so on so forth there's there's quests and just make sure you look through those there's also some codes uh there's plenty of code videos on youtube i don't need to sit there and tell you them uh but yeah so obviously these like a different booth or different cards and stuff like uh, like a card like this is obviously something like this would stick out a lot more than like this duck card as you can see mine has the duck frame this guy's duck frame different because this is a free code frame well design so it's like everybody has the duck thing so it doesn't really stick out to anybody but I mean, as you build fame and stuff, basically your cards become more valuable. Your cards could sell better, but in reality, you're probably better off trying to flip other cards. Um, but yeah, you basically can just go into skins and you can change your cards up and stuff. If you get enough uh, fame bucks or whatever, fame coins, uh, you can also change up your booth. And yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty early on for this game. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it hasn't been around too long. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty interesting game. I've been dabbling with it recently So I figured I'd just make a complete guide like I did for starving artists for people who may be struggling a bit to get started on a game like this On that note, thank you all for watching if this video did help you in any way shape or form Please make sure to like and subscribe and on that note I will see you all in the next video. Peace out